Welcome to Off Grid Victory. So I just wanted to give you an update on the shipping container build and I'm starting to do hardwood flooring on my shipping container. So this video I'd like to kind of point you out to that right there and uh, that material right there is uh, bamboo and obviously bamboo um, is an engineered material in the sense even though it's natural it has to be cut and uh, spliced and and glued together in order to get sheets of it. At any rate, um, I went with bamboo for a couple of reasons. First of all, bamboo is a, a pretty hard wood as, as woods go. And um, well, the major reason it's very affordable and uh, the type that I'm using here uh, is a Italian groove type. It's not the totally engineered stuff that clicks together. But um, I've used that material on the other shipping container, but on this particular container, I wanted to keep the cost down as much as possible. So compared to the engineered material, I think the cost of this stuff is about a third. And of course, to conventional hardwood material, it's more than half uh, the price of that. So it's a pretty good option for us. And, um, and so when you're installing hardwood flooring like this, you always want to um, make sure that your wood's kind of acclimated to the surroundings that it's going to go in. So in this particular uh, case, uh, the wood itself has been staying in here in my container, as you can see there's a pile there, uh, for about three days or so. Um, and uh, that'll help adjust it to the temperatures in your living space. And in this particular shipping container right now, it's pretty hot. Um, I mean, it's not even summertime yet, but it feels like it. At any rate, um, you want to let the wood acclimate. But the other reason why I chose bamboo is it really doesn't, um, it's very forgiving. It doesn't really bend too much or bow too much. It doesn't really warp too much at all. And in fact, it, I don't think there's much of a warp at all to any of the material that I've that I've used here. Um, I mean, the most I've found on these things is it, it will cut in terms of the overall length just because of the length of it a little bit. But other than that, really there's no variation in the bamboo, which I really like. The only variation you're going to see is um, in the natural wood itself. So when you put down this material, you definitely want to do this. Um, I don't know if you can see this or not, but yeah, you want to stagger the joints, as you can see here. You want to stagger that just for a better effect. You don't want it to all look like, uh, you know, you've uh, put it all in line. Although you certainly can, because as you can see, all the pieces are the same length. So, yeah, but uh, staggering it will give it a nice uh, kind of, uh, you know, more natural feeling to it. So I want to go ahead and show you how I did it. So first of all, shipping containers themselves, uh, there is some people who think, well, hey, you know, you need to cover every inch of your shipping container because it may off gas. And that may be true. I don't know. I mean, um, it's pretty, um, I mean, obviously it is designed to uh, even capsize over overseas and uh, be buoyant for a little while. So obviously the materials for the flooring is uh, is water resistant, waterproof. So um, you do want to, you know, if you want to be precautionary about it, go ahead and cover every inch of the flooring like I have here. And so the first layer that I used is this vapor barrier material, and it serves both as a, a vapor barrier as well as a insulated material, uh, which will help in the cold. Obviously, on this tile it won't. <laughs> But at any rate, um, what, I, what I did with that is then a, um, a soap floor on this particular product, I think it's like revolutionary ply or something like that, sits on top of this material like so. And then um, these pieces, like I said, it's a tongue and groove. Uh, and then that'll kind of fit there together like so. Let's get that better. That's basically your flooring. So, yeah, so I really like this material. And in terms of the overall, I guess, width of, I mean, the height of this, uh, three eighths, uh, so maybe, maybe like uh, five eighths or so uh, in thickness overall. 
Uh, I'm not quite sure. I mean, there is thickness to this subfloor material. Obviously, there's thickness to this insulated material, and and of course the bamboo. But um, but as you can see, the the work is coming along, and uh, and the flooring I think looks pretty good. So. This side of the container is done. All it will need is some um, some borders or I guess uh, what are those things called? I'm drawing a blank, but I think you guys know what I mean. Um, just moldings on the bottom to hold the, the hold the uh, the flooring down as well as to uh, to cover the gaps that I have there uh, for expansion. And so here's a here's a, a view for from over here. If this is not done, obviously, I'll take you over to the side of the container. Um, so I started going into the closet space. So I'll show you that. Excuse all that camera work, but yeah, that's the closet space. So so yeah, you want to stagger the boards. Obviously, the coloration of the wood's different. Like I'm putting it out here first to kind of see. You don't want to put a really dark piece next to a really light piece. That kind of doesn't look good. But um, you want to just stagger stuff, um, get the material uh, kind of non-uniform, pleasant to the eyes. But that's it. So uh, that's flooring here at Off Grid Victory. Hope uh, this helps, and um, I hope you enjoy it. All righty, shalom.